Hello everybody, Paul's Ranger here today. I'm going to give some ideas for Scott Coffin for Five Nights at Freddy's 4, hopefully 5, and hopefully 6. So, here's some ideas. Now, don't say, oh, it's going to be in the game. Just, it's just ideas. You don't know, it could be something different Scott has planned. But any case, let's get on with it. Now... The ideas that I have that could be very interesting. Now, if Purple Man's still alive, as the Easter egg shows, maybe we can use the marionette's mask, or mask, or however you pronounce it, against him. But, if we overuse it or put it on for too long, Purple Man will go, You're not the marionette. You're the Night Watchman. You're not going to fool me this time. And he'll play with you, sometimes thinking he's running away, but really, he's just toying with you. Now, what also would be nice is the ability to walk around in the pizzeria, in one of the pizzerias or the next place, rather than stuck in an office. It's kind of like Five Nights at Wario's, you know, in number three, that Dorco showed sort of a first look that every night you can choose to hide in a different room. Maybe Scott can add that in as a borrowed idea. Because that's very interesting because then we won't be in the same room, we have to be smart. But then the tactics will have to change going, oh I'll use this to defend myself. More of making the game clever, maybe in one of the rooms we can't use the cameras at all and it's rely on seeing them move. Some of the neat ideas may had is that maybe at the very end, the last night, we get to have a showdown with Purple Man. Not like one of those retro minigames, like the game it is, but in 3D that we fight him with a male character or female. I don't know if we're playing a female or male in this one. The gender's unknown. The character's even unknown. unknown. But it would be cool if Scott made another secret character and called him Blue Guy, who's the opposite of Purple Man. If you don't, you're probably wondering, Blue Man? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, think about it. Purple Man's a killer. So surely Blue Man would be a law enforcement. Because the color blue is used a lot in police work in the UK. I don't know about the US that much. Probably not so much. So maybe if Scott made Blue Man and we see him and Purple Man in forms and we play as Blue Man and we kill Purple Man for good, put him down and we have, the op we have three options, three endings. Burn down the place, including Springtrap. Burn Springtrap but keep the place up. Or just leave everything as it is and just carry on thinking he's dead. So it could result of a good ending, a neutral ending, a bad ending. Kind of makes sense. But again, that leads up to another Five Nights at Freddy's, but Scott will confirm that. Now another neat idea I do have is that maybe we could have some kind of weapon. Maybe a, a wrench or a crowbar or something to smack one of the animatronics. Or maybe at Five Nights at Icky's that there's a ja the jammer that jams the animatronics thinking there's a criminal somewhere in the building. Maybe it can do that. Or <sighs> the ability to go in another room, let's say we're back to the limited power but we can go charge that power up. But have the doors but have less cameras and a smaller space. Fred Best Family Diner. Yet again, I know it's Five Nights at Warriors, but maybe Scott could do that, but change it up a bit. Also, the main thing I would like to see is walking around. I would like to have the ability to walk around, having sneak sneaking elements. Maybe one of the animatronics cuts off the power and we have to sneak around, avoiding being killed. 
And we have to be really smart to outsmart them. Which is quite cool. And we have some kind of camera or maybe some kind of device to light the path. And when the power comes on and if an in front of an animatronic, we have the ability to run and quickly shut the door. We don't, we die. So those are my ideas. I also once got to try this to add in a female character because um, most of the characters are dudes. And I will confirm that our character in the game is a male because what kind of female breathes deep like that? Going, <laughs> that's a male deep. Breathing, it's definitely so. Our, it's another man. So Scott added some women into the game to make it more appealing, and we actually see what they look like. The community's got excellent ideas of what the characters look like. I I prefer what Mike looks like and all the other characters that the community has made. They're pretty interesting. I think they're really cool. But really nice to get a female character. Never get to see what our characters look like. You know. Yeah, it's going to take Scott longer to develop a new engine, but it would be a great idea if, if Five Nights at Freddy's was, had a new engine that the game would go on go for two weeks, more easter eggs, more of these things, probably a big ass game. Maybe Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is Scott was very clever and I can see a bit of a problem with this. Now let me say it. Now Scott was smart enough to, to let's say, add in Five Nights at Freddy's 6 and 5 to merge with 4 to make Five Nights at Freddy's 4 the final life. Or something like that, or whatever title was going to come up with. As a big game. So, two weeks for Five Nights for the Fred Bears, two weeks in Freddy Fazbear's, one week where Springtrap is. And that will be the ending. And depending on what actions we do, Scott could even be clever enough to add in the first game, the second one, and the third one to make a trilogy game. Probably making the longest Five Nights at Freddy's, changing different tactics every time. Given out the year and the time and our characters. Now if Scott did that with a new engine, Christ almighty, we may have seen a new Five Nights at Freddy's, and probably a different one. Now, here comes the main problem, and this is the problem that, in my opinion, could be very annoying. Here's the problems I may it could be a problem with. One, the community could be way impatient with Scott going, Oh, hurry up, and all that stuff. People making fake images, which pisses everyone off. Fake emails and fake lies. And yet again, people not having the patience. Scott, I want him to take time, and he did take time with this third one. Which I may give him a message saying, Hey, you might want to try this idea. Yes, it'll take Scott longer, probably a year or two. Or how Scott did it, maybe a year. But if we can wait a year, and let Scott do his work, we'll be fine. But that's a challenge I have for Scott, which I'm going to make a separate video for that. So with that said, thank you very much, and put your ideas down. Goodbye.